Hi, I'm Agent Young, and today I'm going to show you how to set up an Omen gaming laptop. Here's what you'll need. The laptop and its charger, your Microsoft account username and password, and if you're using a wireless network, have that login info ready as well. To get started, plug the Omen's charger into the outlet, then into the charging port on the left side of your laptop. Press the power button to turn the device on, which is just to the right of the F12 key. The Omen laptop will boot up and walk you through its out-of-box experience. You should also hear Cortana talking. Cortana is Microsoft's virtual assistant that can do all kinds of cool things using voice commands. Next, select your location and press Yes when you're ready to continue. Here's where you select the right keyboard layout. The default is the one most commonly used in the US, but if you prefer something different, select that instead and click Yes. Add a secondary layout or choose Skip. Now, if you're not using a wired connection, select your wireless network here and determine whether or not you want it to connect automatically. The default is on. If this is a trusted network you use often, it's best to use the default setting. When you're done, press Connect. Then, type in your network's password, then press Next to continue the setup. Finally, before applying your internet settings, the setup wizard will ask if you'd like to share it with other devices on this network. If you're using a networked printer or want to share files with other devices, for example, you'd want to tap yes. After that, your laptop will connect to the internet. If you have any issues connecting to the wireless network, make sure there aren't any special characters in the name of your network or its password. That can sometimes cause issues. Some routers transmit two signals, one at 2.4 gigahertz and another at five gigahertz. If your router has both and is struggling to connect to one, try the other. When you're connected, it'll say connected, secured. Then press next to continue the setup. Read through the license agreement. And if you agree, press accept. You'll be taken to the account setup screen. Type in your Microsoft account email address. If you don't already have a Microsoft account, just type in the email address you normally use and the setup will help you create one. If you want for extra security, you can also create a PIN number. Enter it here. Verify the PIN and click OK. Now you'll be asked about privacy settings. Make your selections. When you're ready, press Accept. You can also decide whether to sync Windows activity across all Windows devices for a more seamless experience. If you do a lot of work across various Windows devices, you might want to say yes. Press yes or no, depending on how you use your devices. If you have an Android device that you want to sync, enter your phone number and you'll get a text to start the process. This will automatically sync things like photos, texts, and notifications. When you're finished, click Next. If you're planning to use OneDrive for backups and file storage, click Next. If you'd rather just save your files on your own PC and use another data backup plan, select Only Save Files to this PC. Microsoft Office 365 is a subscription service that includes access to a number of Microsoft products and services. Your new laptop comes with a free 30-day trial. You can activate it here. If you do, you'll have to enter your credit card for any Microsoft Store purchases made in the future, as well as the renewal after that trial expires. Again, Cortana is your virtual assistant, and here you can choose whether you'd like her to make more personal suggestions. I would rather ask Cortana if I need help, so I'll say no, but it's up to you. The setup process will finalize. When it's done, you'll see your desktop, which means it's ready to use. But since this is a sophisticated laptop, if you have a few minutes, I'll show you some software options and other features you can access. For example, HP Jumpstart is pre-installed and will open automatically. You can also launch it from the Start menu. Jumpstart is where you can register your computer for support directly from the manufacturer. You can also get 25 gigabytes of free Dropbox storage for 12 months. And if you skip the Microsoft 365 free trial during the setup, but would like to sign up for it later, you can do that here. Now, click on the Omen Command Center, which has a lot of helpful tools to monitor and improve your system. First, make sure you install any updates so your system is completely up to date. Then, under System Vitals, you can see how your computer's power is being used. This can help you see what's demanding the most power from your computer. 
overclocking will monitor and make adjustments to your system's performance so you know things are running well. Network Booster can see what bandwidth is currently available and how your system is optimizing it to help reduce lag. There are some fun and useful options in your lighting that you can play around with to match the color scheme of your space. Performance Mode is where you can find custom modes to optimize performance based on your specific use. And Update Management is where you can find new features and recommended updates. The Omen Command Center is a really cool piece of software that runs on the laptop, but it can also be installed on other devices like your phone. This allows you to remotely control certain settings on the laptop or play games. The Omen Command Center also offers rewards, where you can sign up for challenges and win prizes, coaching to enhance your gameplay, and my games to access your entire game library. You can also use the Omen Command Center to host gameplay with other systems, which supports not only Windows, but also iOS and Android. Your Omen PC will automatically recognize connected controllers and can even work as a remote control for your laptop. Pretty cool, right? Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have questions, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.